to be a survivor Every day struggle is rough, so I'm a rider Seen it all, done it all, time I fly by ya Real words of wisdom, vividly spitting fire Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's the one and only hip-hop gamer, a.k.a. Mr. Shots Fired. Remember me? Do, do they remember me? <laughs> they always remember you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. First off, uh, you know, no pun intended, but, you know, these are the creators of the game, Remember Me, and that was an incredible game. If you guys didn't check it out, that's definitely still one of those games I encourage people to play. Like, So thank you for giving us that jewel, man. It was crazy. So before we get started, I want you to introduce yourself, let them know who you are and what we're here to talk about. So my name is J-Max. I'm the creative director at Donut Entertainment, studio behind uh, Remember Me. And today we're here to present you uh, Life is Strange, our new game. And I'm going to tell you right now, like when I seen the trailer, I was like, yo, this game, it's like, I'm a big fan of Heavy Rain. I'm okay. a big fan of Beyond Two Souls. And when I saw the trailer, I got that feel, you know what I'm saying? Because it was based off emotion. And now seeing the demo for the first time, is you go deeper than what those games did and stuff like that. So was those games any inspiration uh, to you guys? And how do you plan to take it further than what they did? Sure. I mean, um, you know, um, I usually say we're this kind of new indie AAA or AAA indie yeah. um, uh, game. And definitely, you know, on the indie side, we're um, uh, influenced by the Telltale games and the Gone Home type of experiences, you know. So, so you can see some of that uh, carrying through um, in, into uh, our game. Um, but the triple A side, you could say, you know, is a kind of more heavy rain or beyond two souls experience. And we're definitely, you know, a narrative driven uh, type of experience, definitely trying to foster strong emotions in the player, um, strong importance on character development, story development, choice. It's all very important. And just, you know, as an anecdote, the, one of the two co-game directors um, on the game used to work on heavy rain. So, you know, there's definitely, you know, which is out and their studio is also based in Paris. So, you know, there is some shared DNA, I guess. Um, I don't know if we can bring it further. You know, I have a lot of respect for all the, the you know, the, those games where we're just, you know, doing our own thing. And, and, and I'm very proud of what we're doing. Now, what I want to ask you is, will there be a combat system, so to speak, in this game? Because looking at it, you know, the, like the part where, you know, she had an interaction, you know, with a stepfather and the way that played out. Is there things like down the road where you actually interact or have some sort of, you know, fighting mechanism in the game? Or is it strictly just, you know, answer a question, choose a move and stuff like that? How does the gameplay really work? Yeah, I mean, it's really, you know, um, uh, a modern adventure game. And when I say modern adventure game, what I mean is, you know, basically, again, you know, this emphasis on storytelling, uh, character development and choice. There is no combat in the game. You know, it's really an adventure game. Um, you have sequences in the game that are more action oriented that you can interact yeah. with. But there's no system in terms of, you know, doing combos and that, that kind of stuff. Now, let me ask you this. This right here, now, depending on how you answer this question will determine if he gets this belt right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I love the theme of the pictures. Like, the way you guys take the pictures and the, and the memory and how pictures could tell so many stories. Like, you know what I'm saying? We have PlayStation 4, PlayStation camera. We got Xbox One. We got the Kinect. I think it'll be genius if there is a way where real life, like, in real life, you're playing the game, Something you do in real life can actually affect the game from whether, like, if there's a part in the game where, where you got to take a picture of yourself using it or there may be something in your room that's an object you can take a picture of and make it come to life because they got those things, like, even with the playroom, you know, on the PS4. I think that right there will just make this game that much more legendary. You're smiling, so I'm loving this. I'm loving this moment right now. How do you, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? And you know, will we see that? Is that in the game, or is that just a good idea you guys could maybe implement? It well, you know, it's not in the game, uh, but it's a good idea that we'd like to implement. And it's uh, you know, the fact that he said that, you still get the belt. You still get the belt. You still get the belt. Yes. <laughs> this is you know, as I said, life is strange, and then you die. And you, you know what? I, I'm gonna save that for the end, because, so we can say it together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, okay. Anyway, um, thank you for the belt. You know, huge honor. Uh, definitely one of the highlights in my, you know, gaming career. <laughs> and it's um, no, it's it's a it's a wonderful um, idea. We're you know we're obviously always looking for ways to blur 
the line between the game and, and reality. And, and it's something we might be able to implement in terms of you know, social features and, and w you know, w w what we can do. But it's difficult because you know, all the different platforms, not everyone will have that camera. You know, yeah, there's yeah. people on the PC or on the PS3. Or, you so, know, so, so, so you can't make it something that's you know, fundamental in the gameplay. Yeah. Um, but it's something we might do if we, you know, if we find the right way to do so, yeah.